That's it, man. Uh, okay, good. It's nice to have cigarette smoke when you're like, but yeah, oh, we're live. It's lovely. Yep. I quit smoking months ago. Thank you. It's very nice. I, I am YouTube live. Yeah. So I'm doing another episode. I just had a dear friend, uh, um, Shushan from Ladybug's Catering, in a little earlier this uh, morning. And uh, I did a really fun episode with her. And uh, now I'm going to have another one that I'm filming right now. Um, it's going to be a really long day. It is going to be the flamingo theme. So, should we go ahead? Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the videos and you guys are. Um, a lot of the new stuff that I'm going to release, I'm going to be uh, doing it on the community page of YouTube. So, if there's anything new coming on, uh, you will definitely find the new announcements of videos and other things on the YouTube community. So, watch out for it. So, can we start? Can we start? Can we start? Can we start? Can we start filming? Yes. Can we start filming? Let's do so this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ready? Yes. Let me know. Ready, guys? And three, two, action. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. In this episode, I am going to do a flamingo uh, inspired inspired floor arrangements, things that you can do at home or if you're having this uh, fun old summer party, it can be a flamingo theme, it can even be for a bridal shower, it can be for a baby shower, sorts, all sorts of things. Um, I picked out some containers and accessories that are simple and easy to maintain without any uh, complications. I've taken um, glassware, um, some ceramic pots that are hand painted, and uh, these are colored glass, and then I've taken ranunculus and peonies, and uh, uh, these, these interesting greeneries, I obviously don't know what it is. Anyways, uh, simple arrangements that you're going to be able to do at home, um, and I've already pre-soaked and filled my vases with water, and so let's, let's do this. Let's get the foam onto the containers. These are pre-soaked already. And if there's some water bubbles in there, you can always add, um, this is from shaking it up too quickly and not letting it absorb by the way. Put it in there and then turn it. And then I'm going to shake of it all. I don't want too much foam sticking out. I'm going to cut the sides of this as well. This is going to be a really fun one, a really simple one to do. There you go. Go back and we're going to cut this up too. Again. I'm not really concerned how the foam looks on top because it gets all And then the first thing that I'm going to use is my greenery. And I love these colors. Um, as you can see, the set is kind of that um, sunset y coloration. I'm going to start with my greens, the ones that I already foamed. God, these are a little tight. And I can't keep these. No, I'm gonna have to go with it. Can I get a cutter? Those red and white cutters that we have. There you go. Like the red ones. The red ones? The red one. Yes. Thank you. I'm not demanding, I'm just letting you know. I'm just gonna put the greens. So that's so fun. I'm gonna go back and the rest of the 
the two, the three. There's four pieces I'm doing total. The great thing about these again, uh, I can go back and get multiple of branches. And this one like that. There. Let's get this one to fill up the whole thing. Nice. I don't know what type of greens these are, guys, but they look very interesting, and I like the, the different shades of greens that they have. One, uh, the back side is a lighter green, the inside is a darker green. This last one left over. And now I can insert flowers in here if I want to. I don't necessarily have to. Let me go back and fill some more. Aren't these great? Like they've already make little statements of on the table without being overwhelming. Now, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to take my peonies, or peonies, take out the greens, and Confetti colors um, right here. All this coloration with the pinks and the blushes and the coral. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up. I was planning to do one solid color, but you know, getting into the design of it, I don't want to be boring. I'm going to use all that color. So then I'll go back. It is peony season right now, which is really fortunate. Then I'm going to take the coral colored ones, just clean up the leaves again. And then add the large one. These are beautiful, um, peachy toned roses, garden roses that are just very nice and luscious. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the colors. I'm going to move this over. Look how nice that's starting to look. Take out the leaves again. I'm going to repeat this several times. I'm going to go in at Move this over. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at the colors now coming together beautifully. 